Welcome to this uh, tutorial. Um, today I would like to give you an introduction on how to use simple verse inside Roland Zambits or as it was known, Stage Light. So let's click on the new song. <clears throat> let's click on the down pointing arrow on the top right hand side to minimize um, the window, then let's click on the X sign to close the default drum uh, truck. Let's click on the plus truck uh, button on the left hand side and let's select an instrument truck. Then on the right hand side, let's select a sample verse and then let's click again on the right pointing arrow on the top right hand side. Uh, to close that window, the window of the uh, plugins. This is your simple verse. Let's hear it. This is now playing the preset um, default um, or the default preset. Um, I'm not going to go through all the controls. This is just going to be an introduction. So um, let's uh, click on the right hand side. Uh, of that preset selection and let's go to the init preset this should be just a simple uh, sine wave oscillator so simple verse is constructing into three main areas as you can see uh, on the left hand side the play area which you see at the moment and um, when you can select to activate your arpeggiator your filter your reverb or then you have an edit area where you can edit the preset and also a record area where you can uh, um, insert your recording or import them, etc. etc. Um, so let's try a little bit the arpeggiator, let's arm it. Then uh, let's select um, a different preset and let's try it. As you can see, we applied very quickly an arpeggiator. Let's try the reverb now. And to hear it a little bit, a little bit more, we can increase the dumping and also the mix. Okay, let's deactivate for now the arpeggiator. Let's go to the edit part of Simple Verse. As you can see here, there is an arpeggiator module, there is an LFO module, an oscillator module, and also master module. At the bottom you also see a button co um, which um, says plus module. If you click on it you can add uh, another LFO, another oscillator or a sample bank or record your samples or import an audio file as well. Um, as this is just an introduction let's have a quick look at what you can do with some of these modules. So um, let's in this case um, um, look at the oscillator uh, it is so we expand that module clicking on the down pointing arrow um, here you see the parameters for that oscillator we are playing a sine wave if you click on the sine uh, section of the oscillator you can see all the parameters here for example you can change the type to a square triangle etc etc um, for the purpose of this introduction let's deactivate the oscillator I want to show you how to add a module and let's click on the plus module and let's add a sample bank and let's select uh, I don't know for example a clean guitar and then click on the plus sign to import that sample bank inside sample verse let's try it So let's expand the sample bank uh, module. As you can see, we have a waveform of a clean guitar assigned to that sample bank. <coughs> okay, now let's try to add that oscillator, so, sorry, that um, LFO um, to, for example, the sample bank. So <coughs> let's expand the LFO, LFO number one. As you can see, it has a triangle shape. Let's tri click on the triangle. Let's change that to a sine shape. Okay. And then 
let's open up the sample bank again and what it says fine under that fine dial there is zero percent there is a little star let's click on that and let's select the lfo number one so we are practically um changing the fine um dials using that lfo lfo number one or a as uh, it is uh, it is showing now <clears throat> as you can see um the lfo is um working is going left and right as it is a sine wave from the point of reference which is on the top middle of that fine dial <clears throat> if we go back to the lfo and for example change the period from a quarter of a note to half a note you will find that the uh, influence of the lfo on the fine dial changes um, because the period is actually longer okay um and you can continue in this way to apply uh, one oscillator or even more oscillators for example to uh, to other parameters uh, which could be for example even the master so uh, let's for example add another lfo click plus module and add an lfo <clears throat> this will be lfo number two let's again ensure that that is the same way um let's um leave it for now to a quarter note and let's this time open the master module and let's assign that lfo to the pan dial If you have a headphones or a dual speaker, you will be here. You will be able to hear uh, how the pan is affected by the second LFO. Let's have a quick look now at the arpeggiator section we introduced it earlier on as well. But <clears throat> let's um, activate it first of all, and let's expand that section, and let's click on the different on the grids to clean up the different steps which have already been assigned. Um, so you can load the preset, and, but you can also define your own. So you can set the length of the bits, the grid size, etc, etc. So for this um, introduction, what I'm going to do, I'm going to um, just create a simple pattern arpeggiator, something like this. Let's try it. And let's repeat that as well. Of course, this is applied to the first note. And if I want to introduce, the, for example, an arpeggiator effect in the second note that I play, for example, as part of a chord, I, I insert a different pattern on the second line, like so. Okay, what is in the number 75%? That is um, the velocity, because I have selected velocity at the moment, which I can change. For example, let's put these at 100. And let's decrease some of the others. Let's try. As you can see, uh, the velocity has been uh, changed for the different steps uh, uh, played in the arpeggiator. <clears throat> the last thing I wanted to show you is actually how to um, record and insert one of your recordings. So let's click on record. Here's where we can record um, from an input channel. In this case, let's use the microphone of the iPad. Test. Test, 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 test. As you can see, I recorded 
the world, the world test. You can set in a loop, of course. Here we go. Test, 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 test. You can put in reverse, you can delete it, etc. etc. And when you're ready, you just click back on edit. It will ask you if you want to add the recorded sample to the preset. I will say yes. And we have a new sample bank. Let's open and that it is. So I hope you enjoyed this introduction on how to use uh, uh, simple verse and um, and you found uh, this useful. Thank you very much. See you next time. Bye.